welcome to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers and welcome newcomers. I hope you like the channel. I hope you become part of this family with us by subscribing, of course, hitting that subscription button. It's free. And of course, if you like the videos to hit that thumbs up, it's extremely important. If you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell to be notified of the new uploads that I come up with, which is every week. So for the most part, I use a 2.75 hook, sometimes three, 3.5, depending upon the project I'm working on. A pair of scissors, of course, and a small one to tuck in loose ends. My threads are Portugal threads. They're four ply, 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal brands. My colors, they go by number, except for the uh, white or the off-white. They actually have the, the name white, but all of the mixed colors on any of them that I have, it's by numbers, which I get requested a lot about these threads, and people ask me if I sell them. I wasn't selling any um just basically using them for crochet but because sometimes the demand is so high I said okay I will I will do it uh, they're $12 a ball they're 100 grams uh, it's in between 300 to 325 yards um, similar to Aunt Lydia, uh, Lydia number three cotton mine's a little bit thinner and of course so my projects are a little bit smaller um, if you're interested, mi uh, minimum of order is six balls because the shipping is horrendous. Okay, so they're $12 if you're interested. You can always email me or uh, everything is listed on the description box below. I have Instagram, TikTok. I have a, a private crochet group if you would like to join and you have a profile, then you're more than welcome to request. I also have a crochet page that you can follow. You can message me through there also. And um, please feel free to request anything that you would like to see. And for the ones I already have, thank you for the requests. I think I've done quite a bit for you guys. Um, so we are going to get started and uh, thank you again for for such a blessing and being part of this journey with me uh, the only way i can survive and keep going on is by having the channel to grow sharing is caring so please share and thank you so much for the people that have been sharing there's quite a bit of you a bit of few of yous that have been sharing uh, quite a lot and also um, if you want to help out the women in need of thread that cannot afford then you can help by donating either thread yourself and you can contact me and I'll give you their address or you can donate whatever amount you would like um, either through uh, the little bag below that says thanks uh, below the video um, that belongs to YouTube of course and they take 30% off of whatever you offer or my PayPal account will be in the description box you can donate through there um, also and I want to thank every single one of you that have donated or tipped me um, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart God bless you okay so let's get started everyone thank you okay everyone so I was requested to create a egg basket with a chicken it has been around for quite some time and I happened to do it I was very young at the time and I had um, got it from a neighbor that she had created and taught me how to make it now of course it's been many years not that I'm saying I'm old if you know what I mean but yes it's been a long time so I asked a few friends to help out because I can't remember exactly everything about creating that piece so I had a little bit of my friends that helped me out with some indications on how to proceed about so it's unfortunate I don't have pictures because you know back then it was the instant picture we used to take uh, or it was the one that you would bring in and have it developed and all that so it's not like technology nowadays and of course you know as a young girl it's not like you know I had money to bring or to buy those little 
instant throwaway cameras and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we're going to try our best to create this chicken egg basket, you know, to put your eggs around. So we're going to get started. I hope I can, you know, do it if I can recall it um, with my friend's indication helps also. So thank you so much for being here. Please let me know um, if I pull through this, what do you think about it? And um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to do the magic circle. In case you can't, then do a uh, 10 to 12 chain. Why do I say 10 to 12 chain? Because some people's tension is tighter than others. So if your tension is extremely tight, you can do a 12. If your tension is loose, then do a 10. So I came up with one chain just to secure that. And then I'm coming in with a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. I am going to complete 20 double crochets total. Okay. So, and I'm using a four ply, 100% cotton thread. I'm using the off white, but it's like this. And, um, I get questioned a lot on my uh, threads. Uh, these are Europe. They're Portugal threads, similar to Antlidia number three, a little bit thinner. So if you're using Antlidia number three cotton, your patterns will become bigger. Okay, and in case you don't have, then you can uh, double or triple your number 10 Antlidia. Okay, in order to, to succeed the same uh, length or so. So... 20 double crochets. I've done my 20 double crochets. I'm going to come on my second chain from where I started. I started my single and two chain with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in and create a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. Usually this is how I started. Please always look ahead of the video before you create. Sometimes mistakes can be done. Of course, we're not perfect. We're far from being perfect. And we can correct them instead of taking it down for the most part. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in on the same stitch and create another double crochet on the same stitch. So we're doing two double crochets per stitch. That means we should have 40 double crochets because it's two together on the same stitch. This is row two. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much finished doing row two. I'm, I was almost forgetting. So I have this old row that I use quite a bit of this cotton to fill either pillow decorations or any little um, decorations that I usually do. So you could always get that at your dollar store or your dollarama, your dollar tree. Uh, to fill in for your chicken, okay? So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in, going into row three, single, two chain. On the next stitch, we're doing an increase of two chain, in, uh, two double crochet in the same stitch. Next stitch, one double crochet. Next stitch, two double crochet in the the same stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around. One along, two together. One along, two together on the same stitch. This is row three. Okay, so we complete row three going into row four. So row four, very simple. It's one double crochet per stitch. So I did my, sing my single, my two chain. Next space. Next stitch, double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. We're going to do one per stitch all the way around. This is row four. Okay, everyone, so finish row four going into row five. Now, row five, we're going to start increasing right at the beginning two double crochets on the same stitch eight times. So next stitch, two double crochets. So we'll have an increase eight times, two in the next one, two in the next stitch, two in the next stitch, two in the next stitch. So we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my eight. So eight increases only on this row right at the beginning. And then one per stitch all the way around until the end. So only at the beginning we needed to do that increase. One double crochet per stitch all the way around. This is row five. So don't forget, two together in the same stitch eight times. So you should have 16 double crochet increase. Well, together, I should say. And then one per stitch, okay? So I've completed row five, going into row six, doing my single, my two chain. Again, we're going to repeat one double crochet per stitch. We're going to do this repeatedly until the 13th row, okay? So it's just one double crochet per stitch. There's no point in me keep recording all the rows because it's just a repeat and it takes too much memory on my mobile. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one double crochet per space, per stitch. Row seven, one double crochet per stitch. Row eight, one double crochet per stitch, until 13 rows all together. I'll meet you at the end of my 13th row. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing my 13 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the body of the chicken. Now, you remember on the fifth row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where we did the two double crochets together. So on the first group, I hooked a marker, and on the second one, on the last one. This is where we did the increase of the eight increases, two together. This will be the butt of the chicken. So that's why you had to put it there. Now what I did was I went by eye half and half and I've closed in and I put a marker here just to get my count. Okay, so where I put my marker, so I pretty much divided half and half and see my stitches if they count properly here and put a marker here and then from this marker to here I've counted eight including the marker and then again on this side because this is the neck part so one two three four five six seven eight I put a marker and then one two three four five six seven eight we'll have 16 double uh, crochets all together once we, we start working on it, okay? And that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna do the neck part of the chicken. So I did, of course, I had tucked in my loose ends. I did my slip stitch knot. I'm gonna take out the marker here because we're gonna work on, on this. Now, Remember what I said, counting from the marker, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on my eight, and I'm grabbing the back one also. So I'm gonna, we're gonna close that neck up of the chicken. And we're gonna do a single, trying to tuck in my loose end here with that thread and two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to take this marker, we don't need it anymore because I've already closed up that neck. And I'm going to do a total of 16 double crochets. So, two, three, four, all the way to where we've closed up. So I'm on my 15 and my 16 would be on the same one as we started. And then I'm going to close up the neck here 
with a slip stitch on the first one we did. Okay. Now we're going to do another row of double crochets, one per stitch. So I'm coming back in on that first double crochet with single two chain, and that's my first double crochet. My second, so we're going to do those 16 double crochets again, all the way around, creating that neck of the chicken. Okay. So I've done my second row. Now we need to start closing up that neck. It gets a little bit harder because it's a small hole to work in. So I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to come in the next one with a single. Okay. And then I'm going to skip a space into the next one. Single. We need to close that neck up. Skip a space into the next one. Single. Skip a space into the next one. So always skipping a space because we need to close that neck. Gets a little bit hard. The hole gets a little bit tighter because it's closing up. But we just have to work it a bit. So skip that one, and this is where I've done my chain. So I'm going to slip stitch. We have to do another row of it, so I'm going to go up one chain. I'm going to skip the next one, and into the next one. We're going to repeat exactly what we just done. Skip a space, into the next one. Skip a space. Just keep turning your pattern. I don't want it to be too loose either. It won't look pretty. And then skip a space into the next one. And then we are right at the where we did that one chain. So slip stitch. Funny looking neck, isn't it? <laughs> so we have just a little tiny more to close. So basically you would just come into the next one. Do your single. I know you can't almost see it, but Then I'm going to, I don't want this to be too loose. Don't like when the stitch is too loose. It's not pretty. So I'm just going to slip stitch through it now. And I'm going to cut my thread. And tuck in the loose ends. Now what you can do is you can pull it from the inside because that will be hidden, right? And Pull your, your string into the inside of the pattern. And I'm just going to tuck in here and give it a knot on the inside. So when you do wash or whoever you're giving it to, and they wash it, nothing comes apart. You're safe that everything is all well put together. This is in the inside of it, right? So we got that neck part of the chicken. Okay, everyone. So now we're going to open up our chicken body should have just tucked in this loose end here before we close up any further so you don't want to over tighten your 
your hole there. So I'm just going to tuck in this loose thread because it will make it easier now before we have to close out the, the chicken completely, right? Go around a few times to make sure that nothing is going to come apart. And I'm going to do a knot here also to make sure that this thread is not going anywhere. This is in the inside of the chicken anyway, so. And just tuck in one more time here. Okay. So now we have our division here. Okay, so we know that it's on the fifth. So between the fifth and the sixth row, one, two, three, four, and five. So between the fifth and the sixth row, we're going to do double crochets on this row all the way around. So, slip stitch knot. I'm even going to start here so it does not confuse you at all. So, bend it between the fifth and the sixth. This is the sixth row. Make sure that you're facing this way. Actually, I'm even going to take out this. Is we know automatically where the the uh, increases are right on the fifth row okay so I'm gonna come make sure that you're bent properly okay I'm gonna come directly in between the fifth and the sixth row with single and two chain and then Next, next stitch, single and two chain. We're going to do this all the way around the same way. So it's, it's a little bit of a pain, but you have to bend it carefully so you don't catch the wrong rows. And just one double crochet per stitch so I'm basically going in between stitches here to make it easier on myself okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I'm on my last one I'm going to close in with a slip stitch I'm going to come back in the same stitch single and two chains we're going to do five double crochets and on the sixth one, we're going to do an increase. It's going to be like this all the way around on this row. So I have four, five double crochets on my sixth, two in the same stitch. That's my increase. Again, one, two, three, four, and five. And on my sixth one, two double crochets in the same stitch. So we're going to do this all the way around, counting five double crochets and two on the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and two on the same stitch. Okay, everyone, so almost reaching the end. Now, when you're going to come to the end, for sure you're not going to have uh, exactly five double crochets left to go into the sixth, right? That doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Just continue to do 
your double crochets. It doesn't matter if you don't have enough. Okay, it's not going to change nothing. So in my case, I had three left, which is okay. And then I'm going to come on my second chain from where I started with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back into that one, single to chain. We're going to continue to do double crochets, but we're going to do the increase where we have the increase that we did. So I have one, two, three, four. Five. So we're going to do it the increase on the second double crochet of the increase. So I'm going to add two together on here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you'll be having six and then your increase, and that should be okay. Remember, when you get to the end, it not necessarily it's going to be the same thing. That doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. We need to do these increases here where we have done them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and here on my seventh, I'm doing my increase, which is on the second double crochet of the increase from the previous row. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. So far we have one, two, three rows. We need three more rows. We have to have a total of six rows. So we're just going to repeat exactly what we did for the next three rows. Double crochet over double crochet. And where we have the increase, we're going to do the increase on the second double crochet, on the second one, we're going to do two double crochets together. Okay, so very simple. We have to have a total of six rows. So on this one here, we're doing two double crochets in the same space. That's the second. So Again, just repeating everything again. On the second double crochet of the increase, again, an increase. Okay? So, like I said, we have one, two, three, doing the fourth and five, six rows and repeating exactly the same thing. I'll meet you at the end of my sixth row. Okay, everyone. So I've done my six rows. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And my six rows that I've counted, I've counted not from the one that we grabbed to close in to do this. Okay. The one right after where we have the increases, okay? The first row of the increase. So I'm gonna come back in with a single one, two, three, four, five, six, chain. Coming back into the same space and creating a double crochet. So we have a V. I'm gonna skip a stitch going into the next one with a single. One, two, three, chain. Skip a stitch into the next one, single. One, two, three, chain, skip a stitch into the next one, single. One, two, three, chain, skip a stitch into the next one, single. So now we have three loops of three chain. I'm going to do skip a stitch here, come into the next one and do a double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, six, no. Not six, three, because we already did the double crochet. Sorry. One, two, three, chain. Coming into the same space and create your other V. Skip a space, a stitch, single. And repeat the three loops again. One, two, three. Skip a stitch into the next one. One, two, three. Skip a stitch into the next one. 
one, two, three, skip a stitch into the next one. So we have the three loops again. Skip a stitch coming in the next one, doing a double crochet and one, two, three, chain. Coming back in, create your V again. Skip a stitch, single, and then repeat your three chains again. I think I, yeah, one, two, three, okay? And then V, and then one, two, three, and then V. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. For sure, it's probably not going to have the right count at the end, but we'll fix it at the end. No worries about that. Okay, everyone, so I'm getting to the end. And like I said, it probably wasn't going to match up to have the right amount. So I've done my last two chains. I'm on my third uh, loop chain. And I'm going to come right into the next stitch. Okay, I'm not skipping. Now I'm going to skip one and do my double crochet. One, two, three. Create my last V. I'm coming right into the next one with a single one, two, three. Skip one into the next one, two, three. Skip one into the next one. So I have two, one, two, three. And I'm coming in where I did that first single with the two chain going up. Okay, and then I'm going to come into the second chain here like that. So I have my three loops at the end. So that's a little adjustment. Okay. I'm going to come inside of this V single two chain. We're going to create 10 double crochets inside of these V's and all of them. Okay. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double crochets into the first loop with a single one, two, three, into the second loop with a single one, two, three, into my third loop with a single and directly inside of my V again with my ten double crochets. So we're pretty much decreasing on the loops here. We started with three, now two, the next row will have one. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So 10 double crochets again inside of the V. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Into the first loop, single, and then three chain, single, three chain, and then directly into the, to the V. Okay. So you'll have two loops left on here. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished my row. So I've closed in after doing my single with the slip stitch on the second chain. I'm going to come back and do my single two chain. That's my double crochet and one for space into the next one double crochet one chain so we're going to do the double crochets and one chain space between them so it's the 10 double crochets one chain space One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Directly into the next one with a single. Chain three. Into the next loop with a single. And directly into the first double crochet. With double crochet, one chain, and continue on. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, slide so pretty much closed in with a slip stitch on my second chain from the first one I did single and two chain. Now, we're gonna come from behind this double crochet and we're gonna bring 
the string to the back. It's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. And we're going to do a single, if I can get my thread through here. Good heavens. So the first one is always tricky, but perseverance, right? So do a single on your first double crochet in the back. One, two, three chain. We're going to skip this double crochet and come and do a back pull single. Okay. One, two, three. Skip this one. Come into the next one. Back pull single. One, two, three. It's always the first one that's hard to do. And again. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, skip this one and come into the next one with single. So we're going to have four loops back here of three chain, one, two, three, four. I'm going to come directly into the first one here and single. One, two, three. That's all we're going to do to this row. Skip a double crochet. Back post, single, three chain, skip a double crochet, back post, single. We're going to create those four loops and then jump again from here to the first one. Okay. One, two, three, skip one, into the next. One, two, three, skip one, into the next. So we have four loops again. One, two, three, four. And come into the first double crochet again with single. Try not to have this loop here too loose because then it doesn't look pretty. Try to tighten as much as we can here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to create this all the way around. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished my row. I'm going to come back in here in the center with a single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain only for the first one. I'm going to come back in and create a V exactly how I did here. Okay, I'm going to come in the first loop with a single. One, two, three, into the second loop. One, two, three, into the third loop. One, two, three, and into the fourth loop. So we have three loops now. I'm going to come in again on the center here where we jump from one uh, motive to the other. Double crochet, one, two, three, four chain. Coming back in, double crochet into the first loop single so we're creating the v's in the center here in the middle of the motives and that's how we're going to do all the way around just remember that we're decreasing so we have three loops now and then v right in between the motives okay i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i'm going to close in on my one two chain we're going to repeat exactly these two rows that we've done here. The 10 double crochets inside of the V going directly with the um, single and then three chains. So we're going to do exactly the same thing for the next two rows. There's no point to recording. It's just a repeat now on this one. Two, four, five, six. So I've done my 10, we're just repeating, coming in the next loop with a single, three chain, next loop single, three chain, next loop single. So we're going to end up with two, and then your 10 double crochets again inside of the V. 
And then the next row, we're doing the double crochet, one chain space. Go directly, and we'll have one loop left. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of the next row, because it's just a repeat exactly what we've done here. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing exactly what I said I was going to do, the repeat of these two rows here, which I've given myself a head start. We're going to do the peacock, three chain, single, peacock, three chain, single, on both of them. So I've given myself a head start already. So you're going to come in between the first and the second double crochet, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Do your single, one, two, three chain, and your peacock. So very simple. Trying to hide my little leftover thread here. Next space single and one, two, three, pick up. Next one. So you're going to continue to do that until the last one. I'll meet you there. So I've done nine peacocks. On this one here, I've done seven. Okay? That's because I've skipped the last ones here. As you can see, I've skipped because we've jumped, right? So I've done only seven on these ones. But it's okay if you want to do the nine. That's up to you. Here on your last one, we don't do the peacock. We come directly into that chain with single. And again, directly in between the first and the second double crochet and create your peacocks again. And then you can cut your thread. I'm using a terracotta mix thread, but you can use whatever color you like for your chicken because it will have the same colors. And um, and that's it. And then you can cut your thread and tuck in the loose ends. Okay. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished doing all of the pea cuts. Now remember where we did that funny looking neck. So we're going to turn it sideways. And right on the row that we started doing the neck, we're going to do just before, we're going to do the, the, the beak, the nose, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it. But we're going to go right through here, and we're going to do a single. And I'm using the canary yellow so I can stand up. We're going to do a single. And right on the line, another single. And again, on the same space, another single. So we have three singles. We're going to turn around, do one chain, come back in, single, single, and single. Turn around, one chain, into the next one, and hold it there, okay? And into the next one. So incomplete. So we have four on the hook and close it all together. Okay. I'm going to do one chain again and I'm just going to come here and close it this way with a slip stitch. I'm going to cut it, pull that thread through, and then tuck in the loose end in between the stitches in here. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to come in now with the red and do, I don't know what you call it, but that thing they have underneath their, their beak. So I'm going to come in the same space as I had the uh, yellow with a single and I'm going to do two more chain one two I'm going to come back into the same space and create two more double crochet two chain come back in slip stitch I'm going to create two more chain one two and working still in the same space and create two more double crochet two chain 
to chain and I'm going to close it up back here just in the stitch back here with a slip stitch and now you can cut it off okay tuck in your loose end so I've tucked in my loose end okay okay you guys so now I'm gonna do the top of the head here so I'm going to start here just almost at the edge I mean you go by eye not necessarily counting stitch right so I'm doing single one two three one two three coming back on my third one peacock Okay, I'm doing triple. I'm going to come back into the same space. And I should do a triple. The peacock, I should close it in with, with slip stitch and not single. I don't want an, an opening. So triple, one, two, three, slip stitch. I'm going to come back into the same one with double. One, two, three, pick up slip stitch. Coming into the next one. A double one, two, three, pick up slip stitch. I'm going to come in the next one with half one, two, three, and again another half into the next stitch one two three slip stitch and then the very last one here I'm gonna do a single Cut my thread. And then tuck in your loose ends. Okay, you guys. So I have two little small black beads to do the eyes. But if you don't have, you can stitch in two, three, um, you know, um, crochet with black and do two eyes with the thread okay I happen to have it so why not and put it we're also going to use the hot gun glue just to have everything stay intact so you want to fix your beak a little bit I'm just gonna put a bit of glue here just so it can hold it and stay firm here just a bit on the edges just so we can stay a little bit more firm honey looking beak so it doesn't flip flop okay and so you open up the head a little bit and see what is you know the best so I, I would say about here so I'm just gonna grab my tool here
You don't need much because that's if you have beads. If not, like I said, you can you can do it with um, thread, black thread, just two little dots, and you're good to go. I think this chicken's having a very sophisticated uh, eyeball. And the reason why I have it, it's I have these little beads because they're for nails uh, to decorate nails. So I'm a nail tech, so of course I have many nail beads and different colors. So this will work for me. But like I said, you can do two, three stitch with black thread and you're good to go. Okay, so, funny looking big, right? Now, we need the cotton to fill the chicken up. Okay, everyone, so I filled in. Um, I wouldn't have enough of that cotton, so I did have pillow filling. But because it's cut up in little chunks, I put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't come out everywhere and ziplock it. It doesn't matter even if you want to wash it, it's just perfect because it's ziplocked in. So what we're going to do is we are going to close our chicken up. Okay, so grab a piece of thread. Of course, if I didn't have to make a knot, right? So you're just gonna close it and sew it together and I did put the cotton in the head not not plastic obviously because plastic wouldn't fit there anyway so you can make a knot make sure that nothing is gonna come apart two three knots just to have it closed up and you would just go back and forth on it Make sure you get the stitches properly, okay? Only when we get here where we have those increases, we're going to close it different. So we're going to close it until about here, till about where we have the increases over here. The same way, just back and forth. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I've counted about 20, okay, just to give you an idea. And I'm just going to pass my thread through here because I want to get to the edge here. So I'm not going to pull too much on it. And I'm just going to close it from here like that, okay? We need to put feathers on, on here, so just go over it. Feathers are going to come on here. So you're going to do this until we close it all up like that, okay? All the way to the edge and then cut your thread. Okay, everyone, so now we are going to create the egg holder, little baskets, and then it's glued onto the pattern. Now, you can do 12 all the way around. I'm not going to. I'm only going to do six. So I have five done, and I'm going to show you 
the last one. So very simple. I'm going to do the slip stitch knot. If you can't, then you can do a four to five chain, depending upon your tension. I'm going to do one chain, come back in, and do six singles. I've done my six singles. I'm just going to close it up. I'm going to come in my first single with a slip stitch. This is done only with singles, okay? So you have to be careful not to miss, because usually when we do things with singles only, it's very easy to miss a stitch, okay? Especially this first one is always the hardest one to get in, I think, on anything that we start. So we have six. I'm going to go up one chain, come back in, in the same one. and do a single. We're gonna have 10 rows of singles, okay? So next space, we're doing two per single, two per stitch, that means we're gonna have 12 singles. Two singles in the same stitch, total of 12. I've done my 12. I'm going to come on the first one with slip stitch. Now, this is best if you use a marker, okay? So we're going to do one chain. I'm coming back in the same one with single. And like I said, it's best that you keep marking with a marker because you don't want to get mistaken. I'm already used to it. I don't use it, but I do count my... my um, singles after my fifth row so one single next space two singles next space one single and next space two singles we're supposed to have a total of 16 in case you don't just add in to have your 16 it doesn't matter if it's two three on the same uh stitch okay these are all singles anyway so Two together, one alone. Two together, one alone. Okay. So I have my 16 singles. I'm going to come on the first one with a slip stitch. Make sure that you do mark it or you'll have a very hard time to get it balanced out, okay? So I'm coming into the next, so I did one chain, coming into the next one, single. And now I'm going to do uh, another single. So I have two singles on the next one, two together. Then single, next stitch, single, two together on the next one. Okay, so I have 22 singles, and I'm going to close on my first one with slip stitch. One chain. Put your marker again to make sure that you don't get them mixed up. So next stitch, single, single, and single. So this time is three singles and two together. One, two, three, and two together. Okay. Okay, you guys. So on this row, I've added like three more to have a total of 29. Okay, so we are one, two, three, four, four rows. Gonna go up again into the next one, single. Now on this row here, I want to have 32 singles. So one, two, three, four. On my fifth, I'm going to add two. And it really doesn't have count. Make sure that you have 32 uh, singles on here until you get to your marker. Okay? 
So you can cheat here and there, it doesn't matter. Okay, you guys, so I've done 32 singles and I pretty much spread them here and there. Now we're gonna keep, this is our fifth row, okay? One, two, three, four, and five rows. Now, I'm going to do, after my 32A slip stitch on here, going up one chain, coming back in, single. So I'm counting that as one. You're supposed to have now until your 10th row, 32 singles all the way around. So you can put a marker, but I suggest you counting is really the best thing because you want to have the perfect round shape. If it doesn't have the same total, you're not going to have the same sizes. Okay, so the next five rows will be 32 singles all the way around, and I count them as I go. So if I need uh, to take out or decrease or increase, I can cheat. There's no problem, okay? So I'm going to continue mine until then you, when you get here, you have your 32. Just go up one chain, do a single on the first one, and you should be okay until your five rows. So it's 10 rows all together, okay? I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we're going to do the feathers, which is just, again, with uh, single crochets. I'm going to do three of them, so I've done two already. Very simple. Now, if you have a very loose stitch, I strongly suggest using a hook or two smaller. This needs to be tight so it can stay nice and stiff once we glue it on to the chicken. Okay. So I'm going to do a slip stitch knot and 25 chain, not counting the slip stitch knot. So one, two, three, four, until 25, and tighten it up. I've done my 25 chain stitch. I'm gonna skip a stitch, and I'm gonna come into the second one with singles. So we're gonna do singles, one per stitch until the end. And at the end, we're gonna add three in the same stitch on the very last one but I'll meet you there at the end. So single, first stitch, and try to grab both loops here, right in the center so it doesn't curve your, your uh, feathers here. Feathers, they're not really feathers, but we pretend it to be, right? I'm arriving on my last one, and in this last one, we're doing three in here. Okay, total. So we already have one, two, and three. Then we're gonna work back again. I'm grabbing the, the little chain here from where we did the singles. So we have this little chain here. Gotta get at least that first one going before I have a hard time and trying to hide my thread at the same time. So we're going back and doing singles all the way to the end. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So I've reached my last one. Now we're gonna work only on back loops, okay? Doing singles on back loops only. We have these two loops, we're working the back ones, okay? And we're going all the way around again with singles until we come back here and then we can cut our thread and our little feather sort of pretend is done, right? There's only so much we can do. I mean, we can do a lot with crochet, but you know. Okay, so then tuck in your loose end. So we're just doing one per stitch. And coming to the end here, we're cutting our thread. And then we only have two wings left for the chicken and we're done. Okay, everyone, now onto the wing. So I've done one already, I have the last one, and then we're pretty much done. So I'm going to do the magic circle. Just like that. 
and I'm going to bring my string in and do a single. Okay. And then 13 chain. Okay. 13 chain. I've done my 13 chain and I'm going to come in one actually from the hook one two on my third one and I'm going to do half double crochets okay it's always harder to get the first one in but if you have to use like a smaller hook then go ahead so half double crochets all the way to the end okay and I'll meet you there at the end so I've reached the end I've done a half double crochet on top of that first single we did I'm going to come in that magic circle with a slip stitch and I'm going up one chain I'm going to turn it I'm going to come back in the same one with half double crochet. Now we're going to use the, the uh, back loops only. Half double crochets. These wings are built only with halves double crochets. So I have two, three, four, five, on my sixth one I'm doing an increase of two halves in the same stitch and then one, two, three, Four. We're leaving three stitch behind. Okay, so we have one, two, and three. Okay, I'm going one chain, turn around. Actually, I have four. I need to do one more. Back loops. Okay, so now we have three. One, two, and three one chain coming back into the same stitch half and then back loops two three four five on my sixth one I'm doing an increase and it falls exactly where we have the other increase going all the way to the end we need to have four of these loops here all the way to the very last one and then coming in with slip stitch in my magic circle and doing one chain turn around coming in the same chain and doing half using back loops again two three, four, five, on my sixth one, doing an increase. We have to leave three of these out. One, two, three, so I have one, two, three, so one more, and four one chain so we're creating three of them already here 
coming into the same stitch. Half, half, two, three, four, five, on my sixth one, and increase. Then going all the way to the end. So we're just going to repeat this again on one more. We need to have four of these corners. One, two, three, four. Going in my magic circle with a chain, a slip stitch, and then a chain. Coming back in the same stitch with half. And again, back loops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Increase on your sixth and leaving three loops behind. One, two, and three. So I have one more. One chain. And now it's just this last one. Just um, half double crochet all the way to the end. And then cut tuck in your loose ends and we're done. We have the four completed. So I've reached the end. I'm going to come back in with a slip stitch. Okay. And then I'm going to pull in my magic circle. And got my, my wing in. So I'm just going to make a few knots here to make sure that nothing comes apart. And then everything is ready to be glued on. That's our next thing and we're done. Okay. And then we have to glue all of the, the things, all of the egg things and so on and so forth. So we'll be fixing our cute little okay. Okay, everyone. So gluing time. So from where we did the stitch, we've closed in our chicken. We have one, two, three. I'm gonna put it right here on the third row right on between the third and the fourth row I want to secure that wing there we don't want it too high and we don't want it too low and then a little bit here and there make sure that our wing stays in place and then you do the same thing to the other side of course so I'll glue the other side the same way and then you of course you can do your egg things 12 8 10 it's up to you I did only six I didn't want to do more than that but um, very simple you would you know place them as you would want fix our little chicken up a little bit here poor thing her nose is sort of crooked but anyway so you place it properly how you want your little baskets here. And then you would just glue the bottom to make sure that you have exactly where you want it to, to be. 
And then you do the same thing to all of the other ones. And I'm just going to place them more or less um, in the same Okay, and then do my wing. And then, of course, I need to get more um, wax on here. So, as far as for the little tail, so I'm just going to glue these ones here like that so I can stay in place or else we're going to have a very hard time with it. And then you can also do a few more if you'd like. You can put three in the back or four in the back, three in the front. It's up to you. I'm only going to do three. I'm not going to do more than that. But you can do a little bit more if you want of the feathers back here. I'm doing only three. It's optional for you. So pretty much we're going to just center this here. Have it stay in place. Just compress a bit so the glue can stick onto the thread. I tend to, to flip-flop, but what can we do, right? Starching it, I think, would be the magic before gluing it on. In my nails, getting everything full of glue here. I guess not. She doesn't want to stay. Has to be her way or the highway, right? But anyway, you get the idea. Maybe if I can put just a bit here, get this to stay here, maybe it can stand up a little bit more. Not too much glue. We don't want to spread glue all over the place, so just a little bit like that. Make sure we have enough glue onto that tail there and compressing it. Well, I will have the little video at the end uh, with the pictures. I am going to put some eggs in here so you can see it in display how, how cute it looks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with my beautiful little friend here. My little, uh, trying to see if I can glue this better on here. Her nose looks crooked, poor thing. Maybe that's better. Okay, so thank you so much everybody. I will see you in the next tutorial. Let me know what you think of this cute little chicken of mine. And um, I hope that uh, you create and let me know how it goes. Okay, thank you so much everyone. Until next time. Bye. Thank you.